Hello. Here is the problem which we did solve using long division, right? Now, I asked you a question there that can you find the remainder of this function divided by the divisor using remainder theorem or not by doing long division? We saw in the example long division gave us the answer. But now, if you are supposed to do without doing long division, how will you do it? So the question here is find remainder without using long division. Well, you cannot use synthetic division either since synthetic division is only valid for when you divide by linear factors, right? Not with this kind of quadratic factors, correct? Now, what should be the approach? Now, to solve this kind of problem where we are trying to do with using remainder theorem, let's first factor this x square minus x minus 2, right? So we can write this as x square minus x minus 2 as product is minus 2 sum is minus 1 and therefore it should be x minus 2 times x plus 1, correct? When you multiply you get this, right? Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 and difference of this and this is minus 1 and x times x is x square. So basically we are trying to divide this by this, correct? And uh, since the problem is to find the remainder, let's try to calculate what is P of 2 for this polynomial, right? Let me call this as F of 2 function is given. This is my function F. So F of 2 will be 2 to the power of 4 plus 2 times 2 to the power of 3 minus 4 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 plus 2, right? Which is equal to 2 to the power of 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16, right? So we'll write 16 here. Plus, this is also 2 to the power of 4, right? 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16, correct? Now, here, 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 4 times 4 is also 16, okay? So again, it's 16. Plus 2, plus 2. Okay, let me write plus 4. So here, this is equal to, well, 16, 16 cancel out, 16 plus 4 is 20. So f of 2 is 20 for us. Correct. Now, what is f of minus 1? Let's calculate that also. So we say f of minus 1 equals 2. Now here, if I put minus 1 to the power of 4, I get 1. Minus 1 to the power of 3 is minus 1, times 2 is minus 2, so I get minus 2 minus 1 squared is positive, so minus 4, minus 1, okay, plus 2, plus 2. That will give me a value of, now let's add the plus things, which is 1 and 2, which is 3, and the minus things are 7. So minus 7 plus 3 gives us the value of minus 4. So, f of minus 1 is minus 4. Okay. Another thing we observed is that if I divide this function by that, since the degree is difference is 2, the quotient should be of degree 2 and the remainder should be of at least degree 1. So let's assume, let the remainder be equals to ax plus b. So that is the remainder of degree 1. Does it make sense to you? x plus b, right? If x is 0, it is a constant, but at least degree 1. Okay. If the remainder is this, and when we are dividing this by that, then can I write the division statement? Yes, of course. So let's say this is f of x. So we get f of x is equal to this, which I'll write in that form, factored form, divisor, x minus 2 times x plus 1 
times the quotient. We don't know what quotient is, so let me just write Qx, okay? Plus the remainder, we know. The remainder should be Ax plus B, okay? The whole idea is to find Ax plus B without doing long division, correct? Yes. Now, what should we do? We know f of 2 is 20, so let's find f of 2. So we say f of 2 is, we'll plug in 2 here. So as soon as you plug in 2, this becomes 0. Do you see that? 2 plus 1 times qx plus a times 2, right? Plus b. And f of 2 is 20, right? So we get 20 equals to 2 minus 2 is 0. 0 times anything is 0. And we are left with 2a plus b. Correct. Now, let's also find f of minus 1. Okay. So, f of minus 1 is minus 4. So, we say f of minus 1 equals to, so, we'll put minus 1 here, right? Minus 1 minus 2, minus 1 minus 2, times minus 1 plus 1, times qx plus a times minus 1 plus b, correct? Now, minus 1 plus 1 is 0, so the first term is 0. You are left with minus a plus b, and what is f of minus 1? Minus 4, you see? So we basically get two equations from here. Uh, one is 20 equals to 2a plus b, and 2 is minus 4 equals to minus a plus b. Now, using these two equations, we can surely find what a and b are, right? <laughs> Correct. So, you can use substitution or elimination or whatever, right? Now, here, for example, you can write, uh, you can take away from 1, 2, right? So, let me do, take away from 1, minus 2. So, I'm taking away from this equation those values, right? So, what do I get? 20 minus 4, 20 minus of minus 4 is 24, right? Equals to 2a minus minus a becomes 3a, right? And b minus b is 0. So, we know 3a, right? So, what is a equals to from here? a equals to 24 divided by 3, which is equals to 8. Now, once we know a as 8, we can plug it in here and find b, right? So, from here, minus 4 equals to minus 8 plus b, right? So, therefore, what is b equals to? b is equals to 8 will go that side plus 4. Therefore, what is the remainder? Remainder was ax plus b. Now, a is 8, so it is 8x plus b is 4, 4. So we get a remainder 4 and see how beautifully we have used the remainder theorem and the division statement to get our remainder without doing long division, correct? Please go through this process once again. This is very important question. It gives you understanding of one, how to use division statement, how to get the remainder for when we divide by factors which are not linear okay so even if the factors are of degree 3 or 4 if you can factorize them then of course we can use the similar method and find the answer okay thank you i hope you appreciate it thanks